Hello and welcome to a very special Swarf and Chips. As you can see, we are here at the AMRC. Today's a little bit different. We're going to be looking at a very well-known aerospace component. Geo, what we like to see today? Well, it's a masterclass in cutting tools and work holding. Shunk have launched their new Vero S aviation work holding solution and they're manufacturing large aerospace components such as wing ribs and it's just going to be a mask the cutting tools joe yes yeah, so walter that they were, they've got some new products they've got some new coatings and some new machining strategies so we're, we're both eager to learn more so let's go inside do not go anywhere Marcel, we're here at this fabulous AMRC event. What is today all about? It's a fantastic opportunity for us. Uh, we are just releasing a brand new product. There's nothing like in the market right now, which is an evolution of our zero point system. Uh, it's an application that allows the part to build the tensions, release the tensions and carry on machining without any intervention, any readjusting. It's mainly um, targeted into the aviation industry. Uh, it's an application that should be very welcomed by people like Boeing, Airbus, GKN and uh, Rolls-Royce. Alexander, thanks for taking the time to speak to us. Now the Vero S Aviation work holding solution from Shunk is a new innovation. Can you tell us how it works? The new system uh, works uh, like a zero point system and we are able to reduce um, stress in the material during the milling process with the system and the big benefit is uh, we, uh, we don't have to unclamp the part from the machine to release the stress. We can keep it on the machine and open the compensation unit and we can uh, release the stress during the milling process on the machine so we don't lose time to clamp and unclamp. James, we're here at the AMRC. I must say it's a fantastic demo, but for the viewers, can you explain what's just taking place, please? Basically, we, uh, we have a collaboration with Shunk, and we wanted to propose our cutting tools, our strategies, with a new in in innovative uh, uh, clamping system that didn't reduce any cutting parameters and gave us the maximum removal rates and the full process reliability, and also in process distortion control which is a really important factor for the aerospace aluminium industry in the current market. What I like about today Marcel, we're honing in on one subject aren't we, Okay, the machining and how the components held but essentially one component, one machining process. Yes, yeah, so we're only talking about the work holding today. Uh, it's a specific approach. Uh, we're just using one part, which is a, a, a combination of the worst case scenarios uh, when making a wing rib. Uh, just to show the capacity of this new product. We're not here trying to sell, it's not promotion, uh, it's not a marketing campaign. We're trying to turn today into an education event where people can learn how to operate this and I'm sure our customers will show new ways that we never even thought it was possible to use this technology. It's four very large aerospace components, aluminium components. Now when you say releasing the stress, it's also kind of uh, allowing for uh, part distortion, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And we say our system starts from one meter to nearly yeah, up to five meter. Our biggest project actually is uh, 5.2 meter part um, and starting from one meter because uh, of the dimension of the clamping units, it doesn't make sense to go lower than one meter. Yeah. So whilst machining, you're, you're releasing the part and then reclamping the part to release the stress out of the component. Does it also reduce vibration by clamp? Well, you're not effectively clamping, pulling the part down in this way. Okay. 
against the vibration, we have a solution. We can uh, put a put a additional vacuum pads, for example, on the top of one unit, and support a freestanding wall to reduce the vibration during the milling process. And we also see in the in the past uh, that we can reduce with our system vibration during the milling process. Yeah, uh, much better than a, a, a stiff fixture. I must yeah. say, there's a lot of interest, isn't there? You know, the, the, the clientele here, the old prospects. It, it's staggering that the companies that are here. Oh, it's an amazing attendance, amazing names, very good companies, uh, some very heavy weights, so we were really well pleased. With amazing competence as well, we have amazing engineers here today make, making amazing questions, which are helping us to understand how they're going to be using these better than we can ever expect. Aerospace orders are at record high, they can't deliver enough planes, so getting these parts off quickly, you know, it's essential. How are Walter helping in your tooling? That, that's part of what the demonstration shows, no, no matter whether we're working in a traditional clamping system or a new clamping system, we can maintain the maximum removal rates. So we're always working at the, the top of the kilowatt power available on the machine, the machine platform. But also then we utilize then our next stage strategy is how can we finish the components quicker because if we can one-shot finish a wall rather than waterline finish a wall, it saves umpteen hours in the in the machining process. So that's the key focus for us. Yeah. So presumably we're roughing out with an indexable and, like you say, finishing with uh, solid carbide. Yeah, finishing with solid carbide, but new generation solid carbides. It's it's our AL35 new geometry that allows us to introduce new strategies in, but also finish thinner walls, higher higher depth to, to wall ratio to make sure that we can yeah, optimize the process. So it's not only the tool development that we work with, it's also the strategy of approach to machining the, the component. So the, the roughing process and the semi-finishing process is just as important to the finishing process as us to reduce that cycle time. This is a very flexible system for the large aerospace components that it's been designed for. but when releasing the component will the datum points change it when you come to reclamp it so our system existing or we have four different clamping units we have a we call it a unit it doesn't move so it, this will be our fixed point of the clamping and then we have a b unit it can move only in one direction so we get the orientation with this b unit and the c unit uh, it can move in x and y and have the same height at the A and B and C unit. So we have three points and we get orientation for the part. And we don't lose this orientation during the stress releasing because our zero point will be fixed and the B unit can only move in one direction. So we don't lose the orientation and the datums of the, of the part. So, so effectively, is this system allowing you um, better material rates um, and still maintaining a perfect part without any stress and distortion. Is that the main reason behind this design? Mm. The main reason uh, behind this design is um, we want to reduce the setups. So when you have a, a big complex part, you need uh, maybe five, six, seven setups to get a flat and a good conditioned part. And we are able with all the units uh, to reduce this uh, to three setups. So the customer will spare money with the setups, lower uh, machine time and the setup time is also very quick because we use our zero point system. You don't have to shim it uh, when it's in, not in, in uh, straight condition, the, the material, you have to shim it and we don't have this to do this work during the, the, the clamping. At GKN, obviously you're making a lot of aerospace components similar to the demonstration that we've seen today. But what do you think of this new potential process and this new technology? I mean, it'd be beneficial to have some sort of fixturing system that could maybe alleviate some of the issues that you get from part distortion. That's quite an interesting concept. Um, anything that would allow you to essentially machine a product in, in less steps. Again, for cycle time efficiency, it's also something that's promising. So yeah, it's, it's good to come up to today and uh, see the product, see the demonstration and, and understand what the concept is behind the, the fixturing system here. Are you going to go back to GKN and, and, and kind of what you're going to take back from this? Is it something that you could potentially incorporate in the future? Um, I mean, 
there's a lot of development work going around this sort of technology, um, so it was good to see this in, in theory, in concept. The preparation of the billet prior to it going on to your system, does that take a long time? Is that simple? It's, it's nearly simple. You only have to, to put in a thread, six holes or ten holes, it depends on the part. Uh, you only have to put a thread in and we screw our clamping pins inside and use uh, normally a pin extension to get a better access to the auto contour uh, and it's really easy you can you make it on a, on a easy simple three axis machine you don't need a five axis machine for preparation the, the part in terms of the inserts are they pressed or ground and are they coated the because it's aluminium we use pressed and ground pressed uh, sorry pressed ground inserts because we need the high, uh, high, high shear factor of a, an, an insert. So all of our inserts for aluminium are ground after, after sintering. Yeah? Anna, thanks for taking the time to talk to MTD today. What have you learned about this new technology? It's quite interesting to see a new clamping technology so I've never seen it before. So it's quite interesting to see that. Will this lend itself to your company and the kind of components that you make and could it kind of potentially save you a lot of time and money? Um, not directly for us, but in the supply chain, yes. So I get what you're saying, but how is that done currently? So now you have to set up the part, your machine, that will build up tensions, which will then have to have a manual intervention. You're going to stop the machine, take all your clamping off, uh, adjust the part again, reclock it, and start the process again. Uh, and that might happen many times. Uh, these pretty much automates that process for you and eliminates any downtime on the Oh, sorry, it wouldn't eliminate, but would reduce severely the downtime on the machine. You've been working closely with the AMRC and Walter uh, in, in, in collaboration to making this demonstration part here yeah. today and, and Rolls-Royce are based quite in, in, in the vicinity of the AMRC. Yeah. Will this be revolutionary in the way that large aluminium thin walled components are made in the future in the aerospace industry, especially with the kind of reduced weights that, that are required nowadays? Yeah. Our intention was to to make a revolution in, in this in this uh, part of industry yeah? because we saw all the our, our customers worldwide have the same problems with uh, distortion with tensions during the milling process so this was a decision from us to to help our customers in this case yeah? and bring up or develop this new clamping system to to help the, the supplier getting faster and easier to his finished uh, parts. Dan, the wing rib uh, yeah. demo that we've just seen using yeah. uh, shunk work holding and Walter tooling, what do you think of it? Well, I think it's a great product, yeah. It's um, very innovative um, and also lends itself towards automation. Um, yeah, so overall there's going to be quite a few applications for this, I believe. Do you think that you could see yourselves using a product like this within your facility? Um, no, but we could provide it as a turnkey solution for customers. So, yeah, it's something that we would definitely look at in future for aerospace parts. And I must say, you know, it's really motoring. What, you know, what are the feeds and speeds and more importantly, you know, what's the metal removal rate? So with, with, a, with an indexable of 50 mil, when we were on an EcoSpeed platform with 120 kilowatts, we you like to use the 116, 120 kilowatt power available, and then we're looking at in the region 8.5 to 9 liters removal rate per minute. That's a that's a lot of swarf, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's pretty much like you're filling a barrel of uh, of swarf every minute, and the key factor is then with the machine platform is to have enough chip evacuation ca capacity. So. That's a, a key factor in like when we look as engineers, is the machine platform allowing us to, to produce that many chips, not only produce the chips, but can we evacuate them out of the machine quick enough as well. And these pockets here, the, the, uh, the, re the corners, that's, you know, it's a relatively small radius. And if you're going small depth, is, is there no push off? No, there's no push off because we use different strategies. The preparation, as I've said, semi-finishing is really important to us. That allows us to then one shot finish. We have one wall here that is 1.5 millimeter thick and we, we've measured that and it's within tolerance. So we've, we've got 1.5 millimeter wall that we've machined and it's, it actually finished size is 1.55. 
so it's well within the normal tolerance of, a, of a, an aerospace war. And that's fair to say, that's probably thinner than it needs to be in, in a commercial airline, but it's safe to say parts aren't going to get any heavier, are they? No, that's the key focus for, for, for this project as well, is to develop the next stage. So we know that walls are going to get thinner, uh, they're going to get higher, they're going, the pocket, pocket corners are going to get smaller, and it's all targeted to take weight reduction out of the components and make the, the, the aircraft more fuel efficient. Yes, you've guessed it. For this week's Cycle Time Challenge, it's the aerospace wing rib component that we've looked at today. Now, you've obviously seen how it's been manufactured and the work holding that's been used, so I haven't got to go over it all over again. However, how long do you think it actually took to make? Put your guesses below. It's the end of the day. What a great event. Gio, what's been your highlight? For me, Joe, it's got to be the work holding. It's new, innovative work holding solution from Shunk. It's a hybrid of many kind of aspect, many aspects. You know, you've got zero point, vacuum, pin location. I think it gives you the versatility and flexibility to manufacture these wing rib components in this manner, um, eliminating distortion and vibration. What, what about you, Joe? It's difficult to say, isn't it? Like you say, the work holding was extraordinary. Uh, the, the, the cutting tools, were, you know, they're very interesting. New coatings, new technologies there. But I think it's the marriage, isn't it? You, you need both. But how many companies and machining components like that could save loads and loads of money? Lots, isn't there? I think it's going to revolutionise the way in which these structures are manufactured or have been manufactured in the past. I think in the past... They've always been manufactured in a certain way, especially with the work holding that was available at that given time. But now it has opened up new avenues and I think that the cycle time reductions are going to be massive, but also the, the metal removal rates, as you, as you mentioned, Joe, uh, are, are, are extraordinary. Mm -hmm. So we've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. And as we always say, keep them spindles turning. <laughs>